Hello, today we're speaking with Amy Wynn, who does the worship visual design for her church, which is Hope UMC in Mechanicsburg. Thank you for coming, Amy. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Amy actually didn't have to come too far for our studio because if you call into the conference office, she is our conference receptionist and she'll take care of your call. Um, and we appreciate you stopping by though, staying after a little bit so that you could speak with us today. Sure. Um, so at first, whenever you hear worship visual design, um, maybe other people don't know exactly what that might mean. Can you describe what you do as a way to um, use your talents in your church? When I think of worship design, at least how I do it, it would be like two-dimensional or three-dimensional. I'm not talking about the PowerPoint that's used in the worship um, service, not specifically. It's more objects that give an idea of what maybe the sermon's going to be about or something within the service that an image will spark um, an idea. Okay. So I'm just trying to take the image or the idea and put it out there so people can make a connection between the word and the visual. What are some examples of things that you've done? Something that I've done before, there are a lot of different ways to approach it. Um, as far as a, a special Sunday might be something you want to highlight. For example, like Creation Sunday or Earth Day. So it might be something you want to put in the narthex, which that's the area in front of the church or wherever your people come in. Just gives them an idea of what you're going to be talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's just something small. It could be something like a poster. When we're talking about creation, I think about the different elements. I think about wood and different materials and water. Maybe actually having a little fountain there that's working and some plant life. So that's kind of an idea. You're just getting the idea of creation. Um, you might want to use a poster and, and use the, the, a scriptural reference. It's a neat idea to bring mm -hmm. in your other senses, you know, to right. be able to see a plant that mm -hmm. God did create and so forth. Right. And, <clears throat> and I'm not talking about elaborate things, mm -hmm. um, so simple stuff. And a lot of times you can just walk around your church, see what you have there. I did one for World Communion Sunday where um, I used a scripture and then I just listed it as World Communion Sunday. And I added something as simple as some grapes and some bread mm -hmm. for World Communion Sunday. So it just gives the idea of, of you know, what that Sunday's about. Something very simple. I've also done things during the church here, there are different liturgical seasons. There's um, Lent that we're in right now. Um, there's also Pentecost, um, all the different seasons. So you could do something with Pentecost that would list maybe the gifts of the Spirit. We're talking about the Holy Spirit and something simple listing the different uh, gifts of the Spirit in a visual form. Um, I actually took ties and, and listed the different gifts of the Spirit. Was there any connection with the ties or that was just the medium that you chose to use? I just thought it was really kind of neat because I like the idea of a tie because it's already pre-made. Mm -hmm. So all I needed to do was think about how I wanted to add the words to it. So to me, it was the idea that I could have different different levels and it was already made. So it was something pretty simple, I thought. Yeah, it's a neat yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. And that's something on the small scale where you might be able to do something in your church which uses more area. Um, when I'm talking about the narthex, it's a pretty small area and, and doesn't have to be large scale. But if you have the opportunity to use your, uh, your sanctuary and if you have a stage or you can go big, then you can, you know, you can think about a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this situation, I used the dove, which was quite large. And then we we're talking about the wind of the Holy Spirit and the flame. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I kind of divided the stage into two areas. So that worked out well. And we actually had spotlights over here and some um, fabric flame machine. Oh, neat. So you can add all kinds of visual effects if you have, you know, if you have that resource. Mm -hmm. So um, also I think of maybe inspiration might be something in the lectionary, the, um, the scriptures for that week. Um, it might be something like the fruit of the spirit. Um, you could do something, um, like I found a pre-made frame that was fabric and I just put it within a frame. So that was nice in the narthex just to let them know what we were gonna be talking about. And then added fruit, um, obviously, because that was something that made sense to me. Um, another idea, sometimes um, I have a larger fabric backdrop 
and then I need something to fill space. So this was where I used a plant and I just used, I listed on paper the different fruit of the spirit and they were just coming out of the, out of the plant, the idea of growth. So mm -hmm. when we're growing in the spirit um, that we'll be able to have these fruit. So that was another idea. Sometimes you're able to work with your pastor and they're able to give you the sermon series or you know uh, if it's going to be a series or if it's just going to be one topic. And I'm fortunate enough that I usually have that information a little bit ahead. Which I'm sure um, is helpful. Yeah, <laughs> very helpful. So we talked about um, different lessons of the Bible and we used um, different uh, people of the Bible and it was Moses. Um, and I, when I think of lessons, I, it, was, it was in the time of year we're going back to school. So I thought, um, I thought about chalkboards, mm -hmm. and um, I got a simple small one to put in the narthex with some ideas of going back to school. We have an apple and we have a ruler. Um, and then in the sanctuary, I was able to tie that. Um, and I was fortunate in our church, we had a large chalkboard. Nice. So I could use that as a visual <laughs> right up front. Um, and then I added a, a Bible, kind of the idea of a display. So that's the idea of of maybe using something in a smaller area, the narthex, and then bringing it into the sanctuary. Now some sanctuaries are very formal and sometimes what I do is a little more modern. So that's why the narthex I, is a nice idea because it's only, it's small and you get the hint, but you're not taking over the sanctuary if you're a more formal um, a tradition of your church. Some people like things more formal and some people like things a little more um, modern. Mm -hmm. I think this is a really neat idea because um, some people aren't just oral learners and mm -hmm. they really need that visual to um, make the message connect with them. Um, so it's really neat that your pastor is able to work with you and tell you what the message is going to be about so that you can reinforce that message in other ways. Other things, you know, this is just the visual part where you could actually add drama. Um, which I think would be great. You know, worship has many levels, and you have the visual, you have the music, um, you have the word of, of um, the pastor and the um, scripture. So within these, you could, you, you could develop them more and add something with a drama aspect. Mm -hmm. So that's what I, um, those are things I'd like to explore in the future. Yeah, it's neat that you're able to use your background and your mm -hmm. talents in that way. Um, and if someone else maybe um, maybe might not have as much experience in art, but kind of really enjoys that, what are some ways that you would tell them they can get started in, in having visual worship? I think is to start small, um, like the idea of the narthex area, something small that you can just give a little bit of a glimpse. Walk around your church, see what's there. See if you're, you have objects. I haven't really even gotten into the whole banner idea, but a lot of churches have many banners that they've made or in the past or could use in the future. A lot of it determines is determined by your space. Um, so, you know, if it's going to be small or if you're going to go full scale. But I think the idea is just to use your creativity that God gave each one of us. Um, it might not all be in art, but the idea is we're trying to convey uh, a message through art. So to me, it's finding the image, finding an object that would portray something. Mm -hmm. This last week, we were talking about foot washing. So I had a chair, and I had a basin, a towel, and a pitcher. That's all you really need sometimes to mm -hmm. get the image across. So I think, to me, it would be think about the different seasons of the, of the church year or just um, a certain theme, and just how many different ways can you, can you portray that. You can go on the internet to look, you know, even just to get image ideas. So um, those are some things that I've, that I've used. The main thing I think is though that there's no limit except your own imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoy getting to talk to people like you on the show and um, learn about all the creative ways that you can serve God. And so if you would like to look up some other episodes um, where we share about different unique ideas that people are doing in their church and serving, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express.